Hey everyone, so Redfall just came out and I played a few hours of it on Game Pass and I gotta say, it is really bad. Like holy crap, I was not expecting it to be this bad. Like, it's blatantly unfinished, like holy crap. And even then, the actual game design of it is not that good. I feel like it's unsalvageable. I mean, it looks horrible. It looks like a early access Steam title that you would find for like $5. It does not look like it's worth $70 at all. It is incredibly boring, very dumb AI, very bad graphics. It is just very incompetent on so many levels. It's just, it looks bad, it plays bad, it's just... It's just a complete mess, man. Like, it doesn't even have a story, and all the cutscenes aren't even animated. Like, come on. And somehow they think it's okay to charge $70 for this. I mean, really? The enemies have really dumb AI, the world is lifeless, there's no story at all, basically. It just feels very lazy and incompetent on so many levels, like, I can't even begin to describe the problems with this game. But, you know, this isn't a full-on review, this is more of a response to someone else's video on this, as you know, so... Yeah, this guy is claiming that we're all sheep, and that we're just hanging on this game for no reason. So yeah, let's get right into this. The fun suckers would like you to believe that Redfall is no good. Not fun. Badly made. Or any other such bullshit people say to dissuade you from the fun things in life. Okay, already this sounds like a cope session. Like, just because people don't enjoy the game, they just want to dissuade you from the fun things in life and don't want you to enjoy it. No, not because it's a terrible game or anything, no. It's just because they, they're just haters, man. They don't enjoy good things, you know? I mean, come on. We all know this game is bad. You don't have to pretend and cope that it is good. Just admit to yourself that it's a pretty bad game. Don't lie to yourself. Is Redfall going to kill you? <laughs> no. What a silly question. But I guess kind of relevant when games like this are treated worse than COVID plague. Okay, that's a complete straw man argument, and it's kind of irrelevant to the entire topic. Like, nobody's treating this worse than COVID Play, they just think it's a bad video game, that's really all there is to it. I mean, yeah, people can be hyperbolic, and gamer outrage is definitely over the top sometimes, but that doesn't really change the fact that this is a really terrible game. Does it steal your money? Well, you can play it for free on Game Pass, so... Really, it kind of respects your money more than some other games. Okay, Game Pass is not free for one thing. And even then, if you pay $10 for Game Pass, don't waste your time playing this game. Just play something else on Game Pass. I feel like that's something people don't talk about a lot on video games. Is it's not only taking your money, but it's also taking your time. And you don't want to waste your time and money on a really terrible product. So... You should really just play something else on Game Pass, like for example, Dishonored. After playing Redfall, I hated it so much that I figured, hey, why not play a good game that Arcane made, like Dishonored, considering that I never played the game before, so... Yeah, that's why or that's why Dishonored is in my B-roll right now, because I decided to start playing it because of Redfall. I was gonna use Redfall B-roll for this video, but... Considering how bad the game is, and also I forgot to record, I just didn't want to go through it again and just record it because it was so bad, so I just figured, hey, why not just use an, a good arcane game? Does it waste my time? Nah? The game offers great moment-to-moment -moment excitement in a package that can last nearly forever, or one you can run through in a dozen or so hours. But it doesn't though, it's a completely terrible game with brain dead AI, lifeless open world, and terrible, terrible storytelling. Like, what are you supposed to get out of this game? Is it broken? Okay, some animations are a bit wonky. But other than that, nah. So you're not going to mention the fact that it only runs at 30 FPS on console and is completely unoptimized on PC? It just has a few bad animations, guys. That's it. That's really the only bugs it has. Okay, 
Some people will moan that the game is locked to 30 frames per second instead of 60. But honestly, I think the 30 versus 60 debate is more an artistic one. No, it is not. 60 FPS is objectively better in any game, especially first person shooters, which Redfall is. You can't justify 30 FPS for a first person shooter. It just isn't gonna work. It's not an artistic decision to make a first person shooter run worse and less ideally than it were to be at 60 FPS. Then one that affects gameplay. After all, most of us old timers are used to 30 frames per second. Yeah, and a lot of us were used to 480p back in the day. That doesn't mean it's acceptable by today's standards and technology. And in my day, those frames were never this buttery smooth. Smoother frames and a consistent 30 per second is better than one going from 15 to 25 to 50 and then to 60 and back again, like Sybil. Okay, a more consistent 30 FPS is, sure, maybe it's better than an inconsistent 60 FPS, but targeting 60 FPS is better than 30 FPS. Also, with the PS5 and Xbox Series X advertising 60 FPS for all their games, there's really no excuse for 30 FPS, especially on a first person shooter. Cookie if you get the reference. Fine, is the game fun? Oh, fuck yeah, is the game fun. See, this is just a really satisfying open world Left 4 Dead meets Fallout thrown in a vampire blender. Okay, fun is subjective. Also, there's core game design problems with Redfall that don't make it fun. So, that's not really a very good argument. Also, let me just say, I don't really get the Left 4 Dead comparison. I think it's more like Borderlands than Left 4 Dead, but that's just me. You get to fight human cultists in satisfying, classic shooter-styled combat. Use cover, flank, stealth, or really just mix and match for the right context. Okay, everything you just said there has been done infinitely better in other first-person shooters especially ones made by Arcane, so why would you play Redfall over those? Also, I don't think any of that is true because none of it is satisfying due to the dumb AI and the lack of enemies and due to the dominant strategy of just running around blowing the heads off of everything because the game is way too easy as well. But where the game really shines is the vampire encounters. You get to blast those fools to weaken them and then stake them up close with certain weapons. Or from afar with a stake launcher, blade style. You have a beautiful and colorful world to explore. Fit is totally oozing bloody atmosphere all over the place. No, it is one of the most dead open worlds I've ever seen. There's no NPCs other than the save zones that barely have any dialogue or character to them. And there's barely any enemies to fight in the open world, too. So I don't know where you're getting this from. Must be that time of the month. So, what's going on here with all the lies and bots trying to take this game and games like it down? Um, because it's a terrible game made by corporate executives that don't really care about what people want to see in their games. Also, it was completely rushed and unfinished to the point of feeling like an early access Steam title. Well, <laughs> they expose the real reality that we currently live in. Yeah, not joking here. This is where things get trippy and fun. Oh boy, is he gonna get all philosophical on us? I can't wait to hear this. People go missing all the time. Our government even kinda helps. We all feel drained, and the things that can and should bring us joy are being poisoned. What does any of this have to do with Redfall being a bad game? This is really just a whataboutism argument. Like, I don't get what you're trying to say here. Yeah, bad things happen in the real world. There's far worse things that happen in the world than bad video games, but that doesn't mean we can't criticize a video game. Or rather, we are being poisoned. Turning on the things that could make us happy. All because we would rather be like everyone else, out of fear 
a simple feeling, than to be ourselves and discover our own amusement. Why would a society be designed to cripple you? So that only the strongest survive. Those who may be of use. Okay, did this guy watch Joker far too many times or something? He's all talking about our society and stuff. Like, what, is this, what does any of this have to do with the video game? And the weak? They're left to suffer in puddles of fear. Ripe for the harvest, Ghostbusters 2 style. Yeah, I've been on this soapbox for a while. But thanks to a super awesome birdie, my worst fears, and best wishes are now confirmed. See, if evil is in control, and sucking the life force from us, then that means there is good, and it is being drained. It is being destroyed, but that means there is hope. Okay, I think this guy is taking people not liking a video game way too seriously. Why is he getting all philosophical on us? This is not a physical war. Never was. They're cowards hiding in the shadows. They fear us. Or they would simply rule over us openly. Who's us? What are you even talking about right now? They need to lie, manipulate, deceive, mind control, and brainwash you into submission. To resist, all you have to do is realize there's an enemy. It invades our mind, it sucks the fun and replaces it with misery. But you can fight back. The tools are all around you. I fight for you. I give the finger to fear and evil every dang second I breathe. Okay, this is genuinely starting to sound like some tinfoil hat stuff right now. I genuinely can't tell if this is a troll or not. Like, what the heck? How does this all connect to Redfall? I don't get it. You don't have to watch my content and see the fight within and out I have battled and waged. But if you want to know that someone walked through hell for you, you can trust me. Because no matter what, you're all my Ohana, and I love you. All I want to do is save us all from those wishing to enslave us. Holy crap, this is going off the rails really fast. Like, I thought you were just mad people were criticizing a video game you liked, but now you're turning in into this whole thing of society, man, and yeah, they're gonna turn against us, man, and we're hopeless, man. We gotta rise up and fight the man, man. To a miserable meatbag existence. I want to open your mind. And yes, I want to fucking go viral. Why? So I can get to the top of the tower and show you what the fuck is real. Then again, the tower is here. And I have shown you. We are dead set. We have given you the truth. Do what you will. Okay, I feel like this is one of those guys hanging outside the street with one of those signs saying the end is nigh. Like, what the heck did I just listen to? But yeah, that's about it. The rest of his video was just playing clips from Ghostbusters 2 for some reason. Like, that's literally the rest of the video. It's like seven minutes of that, and I'm not going to subject you guys to that. So I'm just going to end the video here. And yeah, so this was kind of unhinged, if I'm being honest. And yeah, Redfall is a pretty terrible game. Don't play it. Even if you have Game Pass, don't play it. It's not worth your time. Go play Dishonored instead. It's really good. I started playing it because of Redfall. I'm about an hour into it, and I'm really enjoying it. So yeah, that's about it. Like and subscribe if you want to, and also follow me on Twitch if you want. So yeah, see ya. Bye.